Should you follow the official government guidelines for how much we should eat when it comes to macronutrition, so protein, fats, carbs, and micronutrition? How about, you know, minerals and vitamins and things like that? In this video, I'm gonna share with you the truth that's probably not what you expect <laughs> when it comes to these things and provide a better solution. Before we go there, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button below because on this channel, you're gonna learn how to build a strong, um, sexy, high-performing, very healthy, high-energy seven-figure body without starvation, cardio, or giving up carbs. So click that subscribe button, and I'll see you in a second. What's up, everybody? This is Coach Amir from sevenfigurebody.com, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about the essentially a circus <laughs> that is the official recommendations for how much we should eat you know what should we eat what should our macro and micro uh, nutrition uh, be so the first thing for those of you who do not know if you for example don't know eat let's say you're overweight or your health is not really best you know as we probably know 80 percent of adults are overweight 40 percent are obese so basically the true epidemic that we're facing is this horrible horrible health that most people have and being overweight, essentially the most unhealthy thing you can do, uh, short of some actual like diseases. Uh, but again, when you think about the things that we can control, the most unhealthy thing we can do is be, be overweight. And of course, so let's say we take a you know, regular overweight person, goes and Googles, you know, how to lose weight or how should I eat to lose weight, which is probably millions of people uh, search that every single month in Google, YouTube, wherever else. So guess what the recommendations are going to pop up? What are they? Well, the first thing, you know, there's everything that is ad. So, you know, there's, you know, marketers and people who know how to promote. And basically the first things you will see in that search is going to be some form of the, whatever the newest fat diet is. So keto, carnivores, stupidities like that. You know, let's say if it was the eighties, then it would be like, oh, you know, you know, whatever, carbs are terrible, fats are awesome, eat all the fats, or vice versa, fats are terrible, which was the 80s, you know, carbs are amazing, let's load up on carbs. And now for the last 20 years, we've kind of been on the, you know, carbs are terrible, let's, you know, all eat 17 steaks and, you know, uh, liters of oil every single day. So basically, fats is, um, uh, fat is amazing, carbs are terrible. Which, of course, we know none of that is true. Uh, overeating is terrible, regardless of what you eat. But talking about uh you know the official recommendations so if you know the food pyramid basically says you should have you know low to moderate protein low uh intake of fats and very high intake of carbs basically following that is you know the result of that is just look around everybody's overweight and we are you know as americans the most unhealthy nation in the world probably so if we go further and say okay well so how about you know micronutrition Okay, we know that that, you know, is absolutely a horrible, horrible, terrible advice to eat low protein, you know, lo low fat and high carb. A uh, better, way, way, way better option would be moderate to high protein and moderation of both fats and carbs. Whew, imagine, I know, <laughs> crazy, right? <laughs> crazy idea. But, and by the way, what would that do? That would actually lower your total calories while increasing your total protein. Guess what? That would be a, an amazing thousand times better option than what we're doing right now now let's focus on the rda recommendations you probably heard recommended daily allowance and this is where people a lot of times ask me okay so how about this you know how much protein should i have how much this should i have how much how about the vitamins should i have a multivitamin pill well remember guys a lot has been learned in the last you know let's say 10 years about you know various things especially when it comes to nutrition and all, you know, yes, fundamentals really don't change, but a lot of little nuances do. Well, guess what? A lot has changed in the last 10 years. More has changed in the last 20 years. Even more has changed in the last 30 years. But guess what? The recommendations that we're now following, as unbelievable as that sounds, originate from the time right after World War II. So we're talking, you know, 1945 or whatever. So what is that, 70 plus years? We are currently, you know, using recommendations that are set 70 years ago, 70 years ago. Now, yes, they say, oh, you know, we update this every five to 10 years, but basically they never change anything. So it doesn't matter what they update because it's always the same. So long story short, the recommendations that RDA, Recommended Daily Allowance, uh, says that we should follow are absolutely horribly obsolete and insufficient, especially when it comes to main macronutrients like protein. They basically say 0.4 grams of protein per pound of body weight. That's how much you should have. So. I, 220 pound guy, should have like 80, what, 90, I don't know, something like that, 90 grams of protein, 
for a 220 pound guy who's lean, you know, active and has a you know, decent amount of muscle. 90 grams of protein is, it's just so horribly low that it's not even like, it's beyond like, how could anyone ever say that? Now, of course, remember, people don't know. So we like, how do we know, right? So we just say, hey, government has their best interest in mind. They put the best experts to come up to, you know, the, to the best possible recommendations and here's what we should eat. This is why an average woman that I work with, you know, I've had so far 1,200 clients, like six, 700 uh, of those were uh, women. And an average woman, a, my guess, again, who knows, right? Like on a, on a broader scale, but an average woman, my guess is eats about 40 grams, 50 grams of protein a day. 50 is kind of like on a higher end. Usually it's like 30 to 40 grams of protein per day. This is not even enough to basically <laughs> avoid illness, which is, by the way, one of the recommendations when they were coming up with these is like, you know, to basically not die. That's what I would say. Like, if you just want to like not die, then you would have this minimum absolute bottom line that no one you know, in their mind would be like, okay, this is enough, but these are the actual recommendations. So much better to, if you just double that, like you would actually get to a really good number. So especially if you are actually lifting weights, if, you're, if you care about your health, if you want to be strong and healthy and live a long life, if you basically, especially when it comes to protein, doubled the amount that they suggest, it would probably be very, 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 very uh, <laughs> you know, good option and much better than just having it wildly insufficient and deficient. So, of course, the other things like carbs, they're basically saying eat all the carbs. Now, I'm not saying carbs are bad or fats are bad because neither is true. It's the context that matters. And we talked on this channel many times, you know, what are the things that allow you to eat more carbs? Short term, it's activity, general activity, exercise and just walking around. In long term, it's about being leaner. As you get leaner, your carb tolerance improves. So you can have more carbs. And so basically for somebody who's overweight and sedentary, doesn't do any exercise, Basically, majority of their carbs should be coming from just vegetables and fruit, no other carbs. Can they have some other? Sure, but it's just in their allotment of carbs within the calories for that day if they are very overweight and have no activity, like somebody just sitting 12 hours a day, you know, between work and, you know, watching TV and doing nothing. So a complete sedentary individual, they really should have all of their carbs come from mainly vegetables and then a little bit of from fruit but no actual carbs, you know, like breads and pizza and things like that, because they will get overweight and look around what happens. So remember guys, RDA is wildly, wildly inappropriate. You should definitely not follow that. You should, you know, either watch my channel or find other people who do this for a living, who are evidence-based, who have a scientific background, who do this for a living and have had, you know, hundreds if not thousands of people who've actually, you know, they have helped transform. So they probably know way, way, not probably, but definitely know way, way better on what would be, uh, let's say, optimal for, you know, who, whoever the client is compared to, let me just Google what the government says. And again, this is not, again, not like ditching the government. It's just like these huge bureaucratic uh, institutions, I really don't think that they can get, um, you know, some kind of uh, solutions that are kind of succinct and, and simple and uh, easy for everybody to use. They have to come up with, oh, you know, we think this and we think that it ends up being, or they are simply like in this case, wildly, uh, uh, or let's say extremely just like obsolete. Like they are, imagine like saying today that, hey, we're following nutrition guidelines from that are set 70 years ago. So let's say somebody who doesn't know anything about anything when it comes to nutrition or science, uh, you know, physiology or human body says, but could it be that in the last 70 years, something has changed? Like you actually learned some new things in the last 70 years, don't you think? That would be a very valid question. I would of course, like pass that question to whoever comes up with these guidelines and say, hey guys, do you think in the last 70 years something has changed? <laughs> so anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below and also let me know, what do you think, you know, who would be the best source of people or institutions or, you know, just source of information that you think would give you best answers, uh, given everything that we know now. Uh, and, you know, given the current, you know, we're in 2022, what do you guys think would be the best source of information? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel because in this channel, we're going to learn how to build the strong, healthy, high-performing seven-figure body without starvation, cardio, or giving up carbs. If you haven't done that already, click the subscribe button and see you guys next time. Cheers.